Today we're gonna test three different ways to get a dirty white sweater white again. Last week my daughter came home with her really nice white sweater covered in dirt. Mom, I did something to my sweater. Um, oh wow. I'm willing to sacrifice this for the sake of learning, but I really am hoping that one of these methods works. We worked so hard to get this sweater completely clean and one thing worked far better than anything else. Watch the video to see which one that was. We're gonna do one test on this upper half, another test on this half, and then wash it, and if it's still dingy, we have one other test to try. Just to make sure I don't make an even bigger stain, I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard underneath this part so that it won't soak through and transfer the stain to the other side. I am really nervous about this. I really want this sweater to be clean, but you know, you can't really wear a sweater, a white sweater, if it's not perfect. So here's to our first test. This is just equal parts. You need water, ammonia, and dish soap. I have a small area, so I'm doing a quarter cup of water. So another quarter cup of dishwashing soap, like Liquid Dawn. And then another equal part of ammonia. Ammonia is really caustic and smelly, so you need to ventilate open windows or do this part outside. We really are fans of Dollar Tree cleaning products, but not for the ammonia. It just isn't as powerful. It doesn't say the strength. All right, so we have a funnel and an empty spray bottle. She also has miscellaneous stains on her, on the elbow and on the sleeves. I'm just gonna keep making sure I saturate each stain. For our next method, it's a lot like our how to get pee out of a mattress video, which we'll put a link to at the end of this video. If you ever need to clean a mattress, this is like the magic solution. So it's hydrogen peroxide, which you can usually find at any grocery store. We have 3%. This is just tap water and baking soda. We want to make a paste. We're going to do a half a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, a half a tablespoon of water, and then three tablespoons of baking soda. Add the paste onto the sweater and scrub wherever there is stains. Even though I didn't say to scrub in the first solution, I feel like it's not gonna be a fair comparison. So I'm just using water and I'm gonna use the brush. And you know what? I'm so glad because it's already helping. I feel so much more confident in solution two that I really wanna do the whole sweater with it. I mean, look at the difference already. This, this side is so much cleaner than that one. The next step is to let it sit for at least five hours. They say in the sun, if you don't have sun, just let it sit and then we're gonna put it in the washing machine and wash it with regular detergent and see if it comes out. We're gonna put it on this plastic bag so we can have the sun on the stains. Here's how it looks after soaking in the sun. All right, we washed the white sweater in cool water with regular detergent, and this is what it looks like. I'm not super happy. I did get the sleeves and the miscellaneous stains out, so that's good. So the next thing we're gonna try is washing it with OxyClean, which usually gets it bright white. Here we go. Hey, we've worked on this sweater for several days. We have the results, and the, although it looks great, one was better than the other. The top is definitely the winner. That is our baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, and water solution. The bottom part is where we put ammonia and Dawn. And we also tried OxyClean, and we tried soaking it in OxyClean and spraying it with OxyClean. And it is pretty close. I'm wondering if we'll even notice it, but it still did not outshine the top method. We will put the ingredients list in the video description if you wanna go back and check that out and also a link to OxyClean and everything else in this video. Our kids play hard and get their coats really dirty. In our next video, we're gonna tackle and show you how to clean a really dirty kid's coat.